Everyone thought Darwin was crazy. Why not? The man questioned everything they had come to believe about the origin of humankind. So what was so different about Darwin? What made him see the reality, the truth about the evolution of us all? Of course, there will always be those who refuse to believe that we came from monkeys, but without any real proof, well, that could be argued to the cows come home. Hello, I'm Sonny Gibson, and I'm an alcoholic. And I haven't had a drink in 18 months. I haven't had a drink in two and a half years. Seven months. Two weeks. Hello, my name is Shane Canning. I'm an alcoholic. And I haven't had a drink in 26 years. 26 years? How old are you? I turn 26 next week. Shane. What? How was it? Fine. Did they kick your ass out? <laughs> Why would they kick me out? I don't know, maybe because it's a support group for recovering alcoholics. You never had a sip of alcohol in your life. Seriously, why are you going to this thing, man? It's just kind of creepy. Maybe I wanted to be around sobriety for once in my life. Are you calling us alcoholics now? Hey, uh, Tanner. Are we alcoholics? Shane. Are we alcoholics? <laughs> he didn't say that. Thanks, Jay. Maybe we should go to rehab with you. It's not rehab, Will. It's a support group. What, and we're not support enough for you? The cow is an evolutionary miracle when it comes to consumption. It is a ruminant, an animal that's digestive system is like no other creature on earth. It has four stomachs, and more accurately, four stomach-like compartments, each with its own unique purpose. The rumen breaks down cellulose by the presence of symbiotic microorganisms. Then the reticulum removes all unwanted foreign objects such as metals or rocks. The omasm filters out poisonous agents, and then finally, the abomasm digests. Shane! Will told me about where you went last time. Yeah. Look, Shane, just because you're parents and grandpa, you're not gonna end up like that, all right? Yeah. So where are you off to in such a hurry? Where else? Get the fuck out of my face. Well, if it isn't my favorite Alki, maybe next time you should bring Gerald here with you, huh? <laughs> God knows I probably should go. 
are you talking about? Oh, your ten step thing. I never knew you were such a boozer. Who told you about that? Will told me. Yeah. Will told you what? About Shane going to that AAA shit. Oh, that's right. Since when have you had a drinking problem? It's none of your business. You must be from hanging around us drunks all day. <laughs> it's bullshit. Chain here doesn't touch a drop. He's too much of a pussy. You don't know what you're talking about. One time, I offered to buy him a shot. Flat out turned me down. You're flagged, Ed. You're flagged and it's 3 o'clock. I think that's a new record. Come to think of it, I've never seen you drink anything but ginger ale. No, look, Ed's loaded and he's full of shit and he's leaving the bar now, isn't he? Finish it. I'm on duty. You own the place. You won't do it. Come on, prove this big piece of shit that Fuck he Fuck you, Kevin. Right back at you, Ed. Shane, just drink it. What the hell are you doing? I need Shane in the kitchen right now, sober. I need to show you something. Maybe next time, boys. Now, why don't you drunk assholes piss off? Fuck you, Fuck Will. You. Fuck off. You okay? Why'd you tell him? I knew you weren't really gonna drink it. No, I mean about last night. Adi came in, asked why I was tending bar. What was I supposed to do, lie? Yeah, yes, lie. Tell him I was sick, you're on a date, just make something up. God knows you're good at that. I don't understand why it's such a big deal. They're just a bunch of fucking drunks. Aren't we all, Will? Because cattle are ruminants, they chew food in two stages. The first stage is to loosely break the food apart into smaller, more manageable pieces called cud. The cud is then stored in the first stomach compartment, the rumen. The animal then regurgitates the cud for further processing. And finally, chews until the food is ready for the next phase of the digestion process. Oh my god, I'm so sorry I'm late. I had a really shitty day. I had to pick up Mickey because Glenn was a no-show again. Then Glenn ends up at my house after I scream at him over a text message. How do you do that? Do what? Scream at someone over a text message. Oh, all caps, lots of exclamation marks. And a uh, choice of words helps too. I had a really shitty day too. Why? What happened to you? I came to work. <laughs> I hate when you do that. Yeah, well, I hate when you ignore the phone. Why can't you just be a normal person and use the stairs? Hey, man, you're the one that said I couldn't leave the kitchen during dinner hours. Oh, uh, yeah, we're leaving at 8. I'm not going. Look, this is what 20-something-year-old guys do, okay? We go to bars. And why do you need me to go? Jason said he wasn't going unless you...
animal on earth that shows a clearly defined homosexual mounting behavior. Darwin thought it to have evolved to give visual signals to the bull. A cow will stand for another cow, but not immediately accept the bull. This has a teasing effect on the bull, but serves the purpose of concentrating his semen or challenging his libido. This place is pretty lame. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I'm staying with a friend of mine who lives close to here, and I'm going through culture shock. There are only a couple places to get a drink around here, which is here. That creepy hotel, and that dive on 29th, that bar. What's it? Canning's Tavern. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I, yeah, I would never be caught dead there, hanging out that trailer trash. Yeah, that place is a real shithole. We know. It should be, like, condemned or something. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Hi, I'm Lisa. Shane. So, Shane, what are you drinking? I my treat, what do you drink? Uh, actually, I don't really drink. Are you religious or something? <laughs> Not really. Are you legal? Yeah. So, what's your deal? <laughs> He's a designated driver. Hi. Hi. Is that really what you think of me as, as the designated driver? Yeah, I was just trying to help you not look like such an asshole. How does not drinking make you look like an asshole? If anything, if anything, I would say the opposite holds true. You, you look like the biggest asshole here, Tanner. Okay, I have to agree. Well, then maybe I was just trying to get the party started and continue to keep it going. What? <laughs> you pull over. I <laughs> what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? You can barely stand. Go to bed. Fuck you, man. I'm not even tired. You know, your dad hates when we go out this late. Spooks the cows. He's full of shit. Will? Use a 22. You'll blow your foot off with a 3030. Okay. God damn it, I can't shoot for shit. Maybe that's because you're intoxicated, Will. No. It's, it's because I fucking suck. I'm a piece of shit. A shit shoveling alcoholic farm boy. Will, you're drunk, let's go. No, you know, you're wrong, Shane. This has nothing to do with being drunk. All right, you know what? No, I, I'm a piece of shit and, and that's it. I'm a fucking flunking piece of shit. I, I, I can't even hit the goddamn logs. I, that's it, man. I'm doing it this time. Will, put the gun down. Fuck you, Shane, I'm doing it. No, you're not. Put the gun down. Yo, fuck you, Shane. Okay, seriously. They, you, you don't understand. And you and your, your fucking bachelor's degrees and your goddamn bar. All right, give it to me, Will. No way. You pull this shit every time you get drunk. Give it to me before you hurt yourself, all right? <laughs> downstairs for a minute. Don't do anything stupid, all right? What do you mean, like blow my brains out? No, that'd be too smart for you. Go see your girlfriend, fag. She's not my girlfriend, dick. Whatever you say, birthday boy. <laughs> Don't you ever get any sleep? Everything okay tonight? Yeah. I mean, there were a few minor incidents, the usual, but nothing I couldn't handle. Oh, and of course. Like clockwork. Buddy, 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 <laughs> oh, time to go. Yes, for it. Oh, wait a second, let me do it. I love hey, doing be this. Be my guest. Wakey, wakey. Oh, yes. <laughs> there he is. Time to go home. I'll take you. There you are. Welcome back. Let's get out of here.
Right foot, there you go. Arm around the shoulder and we're out. Hey Shane. Thanks. Yeah. Junior. What up? There's something funky going on with the ginger ale cake. Keep coming out flat. You remember one downstairs? No, but the beverage guy's in the bar. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thanks, man. No problem. How you feeling? Oh. Like dog shit. <laughs> I got some aspirin behind the bar if you need any. Got my hangover cure right here. Nice, Will. Just don't get too drunk where you burn the food again. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Hey, Shane. Can you get a six-pack of that hard lemonade? When do you drink hard lemon? But I changed things up a bit, that's all. No big deal. Hard lemonade. All right. Thank you. Keep the change. Hey, Junior. Yeah, boss? You watch the bar for a second. I'll be right back. Sure, sure. Nice. Oh, this is going to be great. Hey, <laughs> guys. Shit. Oh. My dad says it's all right that we drink it. Oh, yeah? What is it? Lemonade? Man, I've been looking to pick some of that stuff up myself. I'll tell you what. How about you sell that to me for, uh... 43 bucks. You serious? I'm really thirsty, man. Okay. All right. You ever try and pull this shit again? You're not welcome to my bar, do you understand? Yeah. Bruce, they were barely 16. for you. Whoa. How'd you find out about this? Will told me. Will, right. Um, tell you what, I really appreciate this. Mm -hmm. It's great, you know. <laughs> but I don't want people finding out around here because they can get pretty stupid. Can we just keep this between us? Okay. It'll be our little secret. We're here. Uh, a little late, aren't we? We just save her in seven-ish, I believe. I mean, by, like, 140 years or so. We're the 69th Pennsylvania Irish Volunteers. You know, the band. The band. Our troop was made ready.
buddy. Get the fuck out of my bar. Shane, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up! Get out! What the hell is going on? I'm closing. Shane, it's 8.30. We, we just have to... Do it! You guys heard the man. Get, get the fuck out. You're gonna spook the cows. You okay? So how's it feel to be drunk for the first time in your life? I'm not drunk. Shane, the keg was spiked with grain alcohol, 190 proof. There's no way you're not drunk. Come on, let me take you home. How about you leave me alone? Come on, man. Not let this ruin your birthday. I, I've got something planned for Why, you. Why, Will? Why did you have to tell those assholes? You knew they pulled some shit like this. How the fuck did he just Tanner, do Tanner, I told you not to come out here. What do you want me to do? You want me to wait in the car? You brought the stripper? Easy. She prefers dancer. Can't you see Shane's in a delicate state? Delicate my ass. I haven't been able to shoot that well. Stone cold, freaking sober. All right? And besides, it was Jason's idea to bring out the strancer. She wanted to see the cows. Actually, he said I could ride a cow. Can you blame me? I can't believe this shit. He's got a point. What, about letting her ride a cow? No. About how the hell did you come out here, pop off six or seven in a row, when we should be scraping your drunk ass up off the bar floor. It's a great point. You should be howling at the moon right now, or something. You really don't feel drunk. I don't think so. I don't know. How am I supposed to feel? Different. It, um, hand-eye coordination. No. Not really. Hold on. Let her rip. No fucking way that there's green alcohol in that thing. Only one way to find out. Now a toast to the birthday boy, Mr. Canning. May your 26th year be better than the last 25. Fucking cheers, yo. Cheers. 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 I make the bed spring squeak, make it weak in the knees Keep it screaming please, oh my god Can't get enough of that disco dog Take it to the moment where you're peeking Give your ass cheeks a smack, keep the floorboards creaking Keep it speaking in tongues, I get the job done To the break of dawn, dawn, cause I am the only one Keep the neighbors creeping Hanging out on my lawn while they take turns peeking Climbing up on ladders, banging on the glasses if it matters Even if the fucker shatters, you can't stop the big what man Had a while he's going at her, serving up another batch of the old baby batter Well I'm flatter, the neighbors are hearing All the cheering from the bitches hanging from my ceiling They're appealing when they're kneeling And they're screaming and they're singing to me Oh what a feeling Now, I 
Girlies drop the top notch, shit that makes the block rock. Girlies drop the tops when they see the mop top. And the flip flops coming up the block with the cock lock. Ready to reload and explode in the next spot. Where's the weed? Where's the dope? Where's the pot, Rob? Fuck it, dog. Put it down. Yo, here comes the cops. Ow! Ow, dude. What the fuck? Ow! Hey, Will, how long have you lived here? What? How long have you lived in my apartment? I don't know. Three years. You've lived here for three very long years. So? So I would say you're pretty comfortable with the room layout, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. So why the fuck did you piss in my closet when the bathroom's two doors down? How do you know it was me, dude? Ow! It really was great. Hey, Gerald, you've hung out in a lot of bars in your day, right? You have no idea. You ever hear of someone being, like, immune to alcohol? How do you mean? I mean, like, someone who can't get drunk. I knew this big guy once, this fat 500-pound pig. It must have taken him, like, eight pints in under an hour to get a good buzz on. <laughs> What a fat fuck he was. No, I mean, I'm not based on body weight. Like, just no effect at all. I never met a man that couldn't solve his problems with the right poison. Thanks, Gerald. What are you doing? Research. I understand that, uh, you're going through some troubled times right now. I'm sure you have lots of questions. Just a few, really. Okay. True. Uh, I guess we'll start with, um, how does alcohol affect the brain? Excuse me? I mean, biologically, what does alcohol do to the human brain? Shane doesn't have gonorrhea, does he, John? How else am I going to get you to see him? You know, I have a really tight schedule this morning, John. And you know, I don't have time for this. Jesus, Dad. He's got a couple questions. So does half this town. I mean, just because he's your friend, he doesn't go to the exactly. front line. What? You should see him just because he's my friend. Well, you don't have to lie about it. Yes, I do. Why don't you shave sometime this year? I only have a few minutes before I have to head back to the office, but, um... I suppose I can answer a couple of quick questions. Great, I appreciate it. You want to know about alcohol? Well, I'm just a general practitioner. I'm by no means an expert here, but I can give you the basics. And be forewarned, this is an old textbook. Might be a bit outdated. Understood. Okay then, here we go. Alcohol. Alcohol is most likely the world's oldest known drug. Fermented grain, fruit, honey, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we are. A central nervous system depressant slows down the brain, makes you feel more relaxed, less inhibited. Alcohol has a different effect on different individuals. Some turn loquacious, some reserved, some may even show wild mood swings. Upon entry, a small percentage of alcohol gets into the bloodstream via the stomach, but the majority enters through the walls of the small intestine. The heart pumps throughout the body, the liver oxidizes approximately a half an ounce per hour. When it reaches the brain, it causes several known side effects. So why does it cause these side effects? Well, believe it or not, Shane, no one really knows for sure. Unlike most drugs, alcohol doesn't fit the whole lock and key metaphor. As in the way a typical drug affects the brain, it binds to a protein in the brain. And usually it requires a very specific protein to fit correctly like a keto lock. But alcohol is different. The latest theory is that it sneaks its way into small cavities in the proteins themselves, actually changing their shape, sort of like a master key. A key to unlock what? Seems like something different for everyone. to drink at work. You're absolutely right. You're not supposed to drink at work. 
So I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take off, and you hold down the fort. You're gonna leave me here all by myself? Well, I can call in Junior, or uh, I'll pay you double, triple time, and you know you make all the. Don't tips. you dare call Junior. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let a pro handle this. Go on, get out of here. Yeah. All right. You. You come with me. <laughs> It's a like when I'm a drink, uh, I can be myself. I get uh, happy. Sad when I drink. The more I drink, the more pissed off I get. I'm a free from the um, antisocial man that I am inside. It's a great thing to escape from a horrible thing like that. But Vito, you're talking to all of us right now, without any problems. I, I know, is it different? How is this different? Oh, well, I'm gonna talk about alcohol. I need it to feel so sorry for myself, to feel so depressed. <laughs> See, I live for this. In fact, there were a few times there were a few times when, when I... It's okay, Sonny. You could say it if you want to. I, I punched my wife in the face. It's okay, Sonny. It's okay now. Tell us why it's okay now. Because my name is Sonny Gibson. And I'm an alcoholic. I haven't had a drink in 18 months. My name is Cynthia Brown. I'm an alcoholic, and I haven't had a drink in two and a half years. Hello, my name is Shane Canning. I'm an alcoholic, and I haven't had a drink in 32 minutes. This is all the alcohol I've consumed over the last 121 hours. How is this possible? You're not getting drunk. Nope. Well, you've uncovered a new superpower. We should be out fighting crime, Shane. <laughs> Who the fuck's he gonna fight? The village drunk? Yeah, there's like an army up and downstairs. I mean, you're not swallowing it, right? It's uh, it's like the guy that regurgitated that the, the sugar dry. I'm swallowing it. I'm pissing like a racehorse to prove it. How the fuck you doing it? What if it's all bullshit? What's bullshit? Alcohol. Okay, Mr. Canning has officially lost his mind. Is it really that crazy? Yesterday, I read that man learned how to mix cocktails before he learned how to bake bread. Alcohol has been altering our state of mind before we even had a state of mind. And in all this time, science has yet to prove how or why. What's your point? Okay, did you ever notice how every single person acts differently when they drink? Some get reserved, sad, aggressive, horny, whatever. There's no consistency in side effects and altering behavior. Everyone acts drastically different. You get all happy and social, you get relaxed, and you just become 
I just want to punch you in the fucking face. Mm-hmm. Alright, whatever. You get nothing. So what? Exactly. It has no effect on me. Why? What's so different about me? Or should I say, what was so different about the first time I drank alcohol? Uh, I give up. You didn't know you were doing it. Exactly. I didn't know I was drinking it. Again, so what? Think about it, Will. I didn't know I was drinking it, therefore it had no effect on me. You're saying the only reason people act drunk is because they think they're drunk. That's exactly what I'm saying. What, like a, a sugar pill? Like, what if alcohol is the greatest placebo of all time? <laughs> That's absurd. But what about just now? You, you, you knew you were drinking all that alcohol and yet it still had no effect on you. True, but remember, placebos only work if you think they'll work. The mind does the rest on its own. I didn't think it would work, therefore it didn't work. Impossible. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this to the test right now. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no, 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 on the no. same. Let's go, ladies. And deal with okay, this. Man, just give me a shot. Bullshit. Oh, Salute. Salute. Line up. To science. You're absolutely mother fucking right. I'm only gonna speak for my drunk ass, but I think it's working. As in working or not working. Guys, I don't think I'm feeling anything. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Clean up the floor! Clean up Shane's floor! You well, guys are obviously trash. Oh. Okay. So, Shane, if you're so smart and your idea is right, why are we all fucked up? Maybe because you want to get drunk. I definitely want to get drunk. Well, you guys have been drinking for so long, it's something you anticipate, you expect even. I think it's gonna take some. Time and experimentation to find Shane, out. Shane, he wants us to be his lab rats. I'm not gonna be anybody's fucking lab rat. I'll tell you that. You know, you could do Shane. You could run an experiment. What? Put a uh, placebo on tap. Get back at those assholes for uh, what they did to you on your birthday. That's a funny, awesome idea. Yeah, yeah. We could, uh, we, we could, we could watch them. We could monitor how they how they act and, and shit. What would we use? I don't know, like watering down beers? No, alters the taste too much, and I wouldn't hear the end of their bitching. Non-alcoholic brew? No. Definitely not. Those fuckers are spotted a mile away. No, it's gotta be something that none of them have ever had before. Where are we gonna get that? We can make it. Gentlemen, the milk pasteurizer is in a sterile environment, which means do not touch anything unless Will or I instruct you to. never gonna buy it. Oh, they'll buy it. It looks like beer, it's chilled like beer, it's poured from a beer cap into a beer glass. It has an unknown yet distinct bitter taste to them. The mind will do the rest. What you doing there, Shane? We got a new beer in. Uh, it's a microbrew. We're gonna test it out for a few weeks, see how it goes. What's it called? Uh, placebo? Weird name for a beer. Tastes like piss. 
Not bad. I had no idea this room even existed. Don't feel bad, I didn't know about it. because you weren't supposed to. This room was used to stash alcohol during Prohibition. The whole building used to be a hotel in the 20s. There's all kind of secret tunnels that people use for quick escapes. Did your grandfather own it back then? No, not till the 40s. <laughs> yeah, he bought it for like 300 bucks or some shit. A little more than that. Not much. Anyway, so I tapped into the security cameras. Uh, we can pretty much watch all the action from down here. Yeah, we can take shifts. Anytime somebody orders a placebo, the buzzer goes off right there. Take note of who it is on the board. If they do anything interesting, write it down. Like what? I don't know. Like seems... drunken shit. Yeah. Like, uh, what, laughing, screaming, fighting people. Basically, whatever w Will does. <laughs> or Tanner. Get it. What exactly is the point of all this, Shane? <laughs> Besides countless hours of enjoyment watching stupid drunks buck around. And free alcohol. Yeah. Okay. I'm sold. How about this? If I am right, we can prove it. This could be the greatest scientific discovery since evolution. I'm just psyched about the free booze. Up. Who's the most important man this country ever knew? I don't know what politician you have reference to. Well, it isn't Mr. Bryan, then it must be Mr. Hugh. I've got a hunch and two this bunch I'm going to. So what's the catch? The catch? This so-called free beer. We're running a little experiment to test out this new kind of beer. We just got a few kegs in free of charge to test with. And this place, bow? The placebo. Placebo? What kind of beer is it? It's a microbrew. It's made up of a special whole grain wheat yeast recipe. No shit? No shit. Not half bad either. Everything's not half bad to you, Gerald. All right, let me try one of these placebos. All right. Secrets in the brewing process. And it's really free. Completely. <laughs> Fucking A. Hey, a round of placebos on me. <laughs> there was a wealthy merchant in Chilmark, he did dwell. He had a beautiful daughter, the truth to you I'll tell. I can't believe it's working. They're actually buying it. Well, technically they're not as it is free. You know what I mean, ass? I wonder if it even tastes like beer at all. Well, I'm not gonna be the one to find out. That's for damn sure. Mmm. Stick with the real thing. Or is it? Holy shit! You're not passed out. Holy shit, I'm not. What's up with that? You said hi to me. Well, my lady, until tomorrow. No, I'm off tomorrow. You're alone. See you, Shane. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, hey, now that we're closed, I do not mind if I do. Uh, don't, don't do that. Why? We're closed now, and you said it was I know, it's just, um... Um, What? It's not real. What are you talking about? The beer. What? It's not really beer. What? Tell you what. How about... I tell you all about this tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. Well, who said anything about me telling you about it at work? Shane Canning, are you finally doing what I think you're doing? I don't know about finally, but yes, I am asking you out on a date. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hello. Slip for the tongue. Buddy, effer already. You have the wrong number. And also, fuck you. Fuck you too. <laughs> I'm drunk. I mean, I'm winning. I mean, dealing again. How the hell did you guys beat me up? Came up through the floor. By the way, dude, seriously, you should have just kissed her. Oh my god. You told him already? They didn't have to. Check it out. 
Now we can watch all the action from up here. Yeah, and it's it's so much nicer than that piece of shit room <laughs> downstairs. You guys are unbelievable. True. Yeah. Now what do we got? Uh, okay. A total of 16 people ordered placebo, 14 of them multiple times. Nice. Hells yes, that means they're buying it. I love it. Among the placebo drinkers, we had two verbal arguments, one physical fight, a few stray dancers, and three vomit sessions. All right, so it seems like we're getting some potential results. This is good. It's working on them, right? But, but we're still pretty drunk. <laughs> yeah, notice that. Yeah. I think. Well, we'll keep running the tests, see if we can't break the effect mentally. More free views! Yeah. Views? Mm. Test away. What game were we playing? Oh, no, that's alright. I'm gonna pass out of here. Give him a, a card that's wild. Contrary to popular belief, dairy cows do not solely eat grass. The majority of their diet consists of a whole grain mixture made of ground corn, yeast, wheat, vitamins, and minerals. This is to ensure a maximum milking potential. Having a picnic, are we? Uh, sort of. It's for a date. You're the only guy I know who would take a date to a dairy farm. I love it out here. Working that smoke-infested box all day, th this is refreshing. Well, it's a good thing you're going to that support group with all that wine you got there. Yeah, it's sort of a little experiment that I'm doing. A little chain, huh? I know Will thinks you're nuts, but I understand why you wanted to go there. You do? Sure. Even though you don't drink, you, you still surround yourself in. I mean, with the bar and all. Yeah. Maybe you should think about selling it. You know, move away from all that. Start over. You're so smart, you, you got an education. Why, well, you can make money doing anything you want to. Christ, you know more about cows than I do, and I've been raising them all my life. I know book smarts. My thesis is on the evolution of cattle and about selling the bar Trust me, it crosses my mind every day. Then why not just do it? It's all I have left of me, you know? The bar's been in my family for three generations, and I guess I feel a little bit of responsibility to keep it there. You of all people should understand that. I mean, this farm hasn't exactly made a huge profit over the last few years either. Yeah, I understand. Of course, the day my cows start getting shit-faced is the day the for sale sign goes up. Hi. Hey, Shane, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to have to cancel. I can't find a sitter. Pardon me, what's that thumb business? I got it covered. There it is. The scenery exit. You guys are fuckers. So you really never had a drink until your birthday? Nope. And now you can't get drunk? Not even a buzz. Because intoxication is nothing more than a placebo effect.
And you really believe this? Why not? The mind is an incredibly powerful thing. Scientific studies have shown that it can cure diseases, heal wounds. I mean, you saw how those assholes acted when they thought they were drinking beer yesterday. You really don't like them very much, do you? Do you? No, not all of them, but I think some of them are sweet. I don't think it's really fair for you to trick them like that. Why not? They did the same thing to yeah, me. Yeah, but you don't know who it was, and now you're tricking them all. See, you keep saying tricking. I'm not tricking them. This is science. I'm studying them. Oh, Shane, sweetie, I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Thought you might say that? Whoa, now that is a lot of wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is for you. Okay. Hey, that's not fair. It's for me. Just don't want you to pass out too early. Yeah, but I'm pretty tough. We'll see. Shall we? We shall. Cheers. Shane said is right, it's not gonna calm him down either. And wait! <laughs> yep, I think it's official. What's official? This is the strangest date I've ever been on. So, why here? Why cows? I don't know. I grew up here. I thought your dad owned the bar. He did. Uh, my. My parents died in a car accident when I was eight. <laughs> what are you doing? I just put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, when I turned 18, I inherited the bar. Till then, Uncle Austin raised me. All this is his. Will's dad. Yeah, Will and I became best friends on the farm. And even though we're technically first cousins, we're more like brothers. This place, the land, Cows. It just seems so innocent to me. So far away from the bar. The bar is three miles down the road. <laughs> no, I mean, the bar is just full of miserable, unhappy people that hide behind their phonies. It's all fake, you know? They just hide from reality in there, destroying themselves by drinking their lives away. But here, here it's different. We're creating the drink of life getting a little too deep for a first date, aren't we, Shane? Sorry. I like you. I like you too. <laughs> Christ, you're drunk already? It's not even 11 yet. Shane, uh, you owe me big time, man. Oh, you little bitch. You got it, didn't you? I did get it. I got my dad to take you. However, it consists of me going to one fall semester at Montgomery County Community College. You agree? Yeah. Because you're the man. And you're also going to show up on test days to hook it up. That is for damn sure. You're the man, Pan. Thank you. Ow, oh, bro. Shane, Shane, wake up, Shane. 
The test is complete. Are you sure about this, Shane? I'll be fine. Just don't kill yourself, all right? You know what I'm doing. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, here's the deal. You'll both be drinking shots of straight vodka. That's right. Whoever remains conscious the longest is the winner. All right. Yeah. The loser agrees to pay the winner 500 bucks. Yeah, let's make it a thousand. Still think he doesn't drink? You don't fuck? Oh. Fuck off. This pussy? A thousand? It is. Shane, are you absolutely sure you want to do this? Ed can drink everybody in this bar under the table. Oh, it's not the size of the dog in a fight. It's the size of the dog. That's what I'm talking about. Right? Okay, then. 50 on the big guy. Stick and move, little Mac. Stick and move. Yeah. On your mark, get set, go. It's amazing to see you. You look like you've done something. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Dude, whose house is this? Oh, I'm just trying to vanish. Shane, you've got to come and do a beer bong with me. I've done three, and they are tasty and delicious. And delicious. Dude, I'll do one. <laughs> yes. Right this way. Up. Top. Whoa! <laughs> you suck! You're such a fucking asshole. Fuck you, you're an asshole. Hey, did you go to Franklin High? Yeah, why? <laughs> I told you it was Farmer Bill. <laughs> Holy no, shit! Uh, I actually H go by Will. Farmer Bill. Bill. No, I actually go by what? Will. It's fucking Will! Hey, yeah, what do you got? Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Hey, look at out. Calm the fuck down. Come on. Oh, God, a lot. Oh, fucking get up. Get up. Get up. Fuck. Man, Tanner's some asshole friend. Yeah, you can fucking stay there with him. Too. Will, just shut up. Please. You can be such a fucking asshole sometimes. Fuck you, Shane. At least I don't have to make shit up to deal with my own insecurities. What the fuck are you talking about? You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. No, actually, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, fuck.
Always look a little uh, scuffed up there. Okay. Been drinking tonight? Well, I can't speak for these two, but. Uh... 25, 1,000, 26, 1,000, 27, 1,000, 28, 1,000. Thank God it didn't give me a breathalyzer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> When I laugh. I, I, I should have gotten the DUI. Bottom fucking line. You got it. Will! This guy thinks he's a sharpshooter. Mm -hmm. He won't even put the fucking gun. Face the fucking bottle there. Can't do you anything like Shut up! Will, seriously? Keep her down. I'm not. You too, man. Mm -hmm. world. Ten more minutes. Fuck you guys. Go this little world. A tree stump. Fucking little world run by Satan. Dude, you ain't gonna live too much longer, Will. I'm just a worthless ass asshole. I'm so sick of your stupid childish drunk bullshit. Ruining my buzz. Al alcohol's bullshit. Being drunk's bullshit. It's all bullshit. I'm giving you about five That's who I am. He doesn't hear a damn thing. <laughs> I wanna enjoy I wanna enjoy my drunken out of control. I I can't do anything right. I I do need to keep drinking more. I'm getting shakes. Really? Well, like you're getting drunk or what? No, it's not. Right. Uh, why? Uh, yeah, I don't get it. What are you doing? Fuck you guys! Ah, fuck! Uh. Why am I not dead? What'd you miss? Could I be so drunk that I missed? You didn't miss. Oh, what the fuck just happened? 22 is full of blanks. What? Got it for the bar, but since you always like to shoot when you're drunk, I thought it'd be the same. Motherfucker! <laughs> All that time I've been missing? <laughs> ow, ow. Mm. Fuck. Thought you weren't drinking anymore. It's just one. Heard that before. That looked important. It's the results of my PET scan. That's fucked up. It's awesome. This is the analysis of a positron emission tomography for patient Shane Canning. After reviewing the acquisition of physiologic images for 90 minutes of the brain noting blood flow and metabolic activity, I've come to the conclusion that the patient's brain activity and function is normal. What was interesting about the study is that the patient consumed mass quantities of alcohol prior to the test, yet the scans did not reveal any loss in activity or memory capacity as it often does with Alzheimer's disease and any other nervous disorders patient showed completely normal brain activity. On average, dairy cows produce about 8 gallons or 128 glasses of milk per day. In order to maintain this volume of production, they drink between 100 and 200 pounds per day. Needless to say, they produce a tremendous amount of waste. The modern dairy cow has not evolved in nature but is rather a product of man's own design of an evolutionary path. Higher milk yielding cattle were bred over hundreds of years and treated with science to create the most efficient milk producing machine today. The Super Milker. Hey Shane. What the hell happened to your face? Yeah, about that. Uh, Will. Will did that? No, Will got into a fight, I got in the middle of it. Is he all right? Will's an alcoholic. To be honest with you, 
Doesn't surprise me at all. Well, ever since his mother left, he's been kind of... Angry? To say the least. And he always beats himself up over everything. With the drinking. I was always worried that he might take it to that level. He's always been a heavy drinker. I just... Past few months, he's just been out of control. Shane, what should I do? I don't know. Maybe we should make him go to that support group with you next time you go. Yeah. I don't think you do that. Yeah, I know what you mean. But Shane is... Is well the reason? The reason you've been going to that group? No. A month ago, I was looking for my birth certificate. I was going through all these old papers from my parents. I came across this one I hadn't seen in a long time. I always knew it was there. I guess I just never really thought about it. It was one of several DUI citations from my mother. But there was something, something that struck a chord with this one. It was the date. March 17th, 1981. She was six months pregnant. It's okay, Shane. It's okay. Guess I just needed someone to talk to. You know, I understand how I feel about it all. I know you don't remember much of your mother. And I know what you do remember isn't so great. But let me tell you about the woman I remember. My sister. All she ever wanted was to, to get the hell away from here. To go to school. To be a, uh, I can't even remember what it was anymore. But dad, dad wouldn't have that. No way, he was a third generation farmer. The woman married a man with assets. Like land. Or a bar. We took his word like gospel. That's the way it was around here. She never really challenged him. And I think it killed her inside a little. Made her turn to something else for comfort, because she sure as hell didn't get it around here. From your father, either. And I guess maybe that's why Will goes there, too. No, Uncle Austin. I think I can help him. Well, I have an idea that I think can change him, make him see things differently. I'm going to take him to the old shack tonight. Are you doing, like, like an intervention? Not exactly. One of us is going to sit in front of the camera and you're going to state what you're about to drink, including type, quantity, and proof count. Why are we doing this? Free booze, dude. It's a perception exercise. I want each one of you to try to convince yourselves that what you're about to drink will have no effect on you at all. For instance, black ray schnapps. Wow. Two ounces. 80 proof. Vodka, two ounces, 80 proof. 151, two ounces, down the hatch. Done. One. Fuck that shit, we're gonna need another bottle. Oof me. 
It's like turpentine, but by God. Whatever you want to call it, Will. It's all the same for you, isn't it? It's all in my head. Something out of a bottle. <laughs> Tenor. For the record, I'm completely sober. Scientific ob observers out there, I'm not getting drunk, and I will tell you why. Because I don't. It's Bro. shot number 27. It does not perform. Great. I can't even figure out how many ounces it was. How about that? Is that scientific enough? I'm 51. <laughs> Why are we doing this? I really wish you weren't such a dick. Alright? Oh, I... Why are you doing this? I want to fucking help you. Help me. Shane, you need to help yourself. You're a lunatic. Yeah. You tried to kill yourself last night, Will. If there were bullets in the gun, you'd be dead. Yeah, I'm the lunatic, yeah. You're a fucking lunatic. Shane. Yeah. I put the grain in the keg. It was supposed to be part of the birth. Sometimes, when I feel sad, I'll do something cool to make myself feel better. Really? Yeah, come on. That's where all the milk goes. Take off your shirt and shoes. Okay, I'm gonna count to three. And then we're gonna jump in. You ready? One, two, three.
morning, gentlemen. Time to get up. Guys, wake up. Jason, get up. Get up, man. Jason, get the fuck up. Hey, Jay, get the fuck up. Jay. Jay! What's wrong with him? Jason, get the fuck up! What the fuck's wrong with him? He's not fucking breathing! Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. We will always remember Jason this way, as a warm, giving, caring individual whose, whose life, which we valued so much, was taken away so abruptly. <laughs> Pull my car around. <laughs> Shane, are you all right? Oh, yeah. Janice, cut the music. Hey, you asshole. The time has come. The time has come to tell you all what you've been drinking over the last few weeks. Shane, stop. Shut up, Will. This here? Shane. This wasn't part of the plan. We weren't going to tell them. Plan? The plan's gone to shit. It hasn't, it will. This here's a new plan. Ladies and gentlemen, what you've been drinking over the last few weeks is not beer. It's uh, apple juice, right? <laughs> ah, Vic. No. It's true. This here in my hand... It ain't beer. Shane! Shut up! Will? Then what the fuck is it already? Dead. <laughs> it is... Cow piss! You've all been...
been drinking cow piss. Serious. You're drinking cow piss. I would have run a cow piss for everyone then. Janice, give me a bottle of Jack. That's disgusting. the doctor. I'll go get him. Jesus Christ. I thought we were going to lose you too. What's going on? You're in the hospital, Shane. You're not going to believe it. It's a miracle you're alive. I'm Dr. Ferrara. Why doesn't everybody step outside for a few minutes so I can explain everything to Shane here? I'll get you feeling better in no time. Well, you heard him, man. Let's go. Okay, Shane, here's the deal. You've completely destroyed your liver. That's why you passed out. You suffered from acute liver failure and went into a coma. Your liver is totally gone. But lucky for you, you have a spare. What? You were born with two livers. It's very rare, but it has been popping up more and more recently. A boy in India was just born the same way. Your friends told me that you've been having trouble feeling the effects of alcohol. One of the liver's primary functions is drug detoxification, as in it cleans out your system of all the bad stuff like alcohol. So all this time you've been drinking, trying to feel intoxicated, your livers were working overtime making sure that you didn't. I mean, the amount of alcohol you had in your system would kill a 600 pound man, yet you remained sober. Your livers were working as a synchronized machine, accomplishing far more together than they could each do alone. How is this possible? No one knows for certain. It's a random genetic mutation. One that saved your life. You're lucky to be alive, Shane. Now because you drank so much alcohol in such a short period of time, your body's become dependent on it. That's why you have the shakes and the cravings. I can't believe this. Shane, you've become an alcoholic without ever getting drunk. In India, cow's urine is bottled and sold under the label Gift of the Cow as a cure for ailments ranging from obesity to cancer and most notably, liver disease. Hello, my name is Sonny Gibson and I'm an alcoholic and I haven't had a drink in 19 months. My name is Cynthia Brown, I'm an alcoholic. I haven't had a drink in two years and seven months. My name is Elise Rogers. I'm an alcoholic and I haven't had a drink in nine years. My name is Shane Canning. I'm an alcoholic and I haven't had a drink in six weeks. My name is John Tanner and I'm an alcoholic and I haven't had a drink in six weeks. Hello, my name is William Pelt. I'm an alcoholic. I haven't had a drink in six weeks. I still miss him, you know. Yeah. I mean, you keep thinking it's going to get better and better, but, you know, it. It will. Like everything else in this world, it just takes time. To Jason. To Jason. To Jason. Charles Darwin discovered that throughout time, the organisms that survived were the ones most fit for their environment. And as environments changed, the organisms did too, evolving to fit. This was a means for survival then, this is a means for survival now. 
Alcoholism is a hereditary disease that runs in my family. My mother, father, and his father have all lost their lives because of it. But in an environment where one is surrounded by alcohol and is prone to become addicted to it, can nature step in as well? Once again, help us evolve to survive in these new conditions? It may have taken thousands of generations for the cow to perfect its toxin cleansing system. But for me, it only took three. I suppose I can thank my mother for that. There was a wealthy merchant in Chilmark, he did dwell. He had a beautiful daughter, the truth to you I'll tell. Oh, the truth to you I'll tell. She had sweethearts of plenty, men of a degree. Her love was Jack the Sailor, and her true love there could be. Jack is gone a sailing, trouble on his mind. He left his native country and his darling girl behind. 